Hey guys and welcome back to another Stitch Fix haul. I think this is my sixth one now. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sarah. I am a mum to two girls, a toddler and a baby. The baby is currently napping. My toddler's at nursery, but I'm sat in her room because there's just noise everywhere today. The building works at the front of the house. There's a guy mowing his lawn at the back of the house, but this seemed like the quietest room, so I do apologise for the background noise. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We are here to discuss Stitch Fix. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is an online personal stylist service. Stylist? Stylist. Did I say that right? I think I did. <laughs> online personal stylish sir. Style? I can't. <laughs> It's an online personal stylist service. So you pay £10 for somebody to pick clothes for you. You get five items and then you get to try them on and if you like them, you get to keep them and pay for them. And if you don't like them, you just send them back. So like I said, it costs £10 just for the like service of it. And then if you do want to buy anything, you get to take that £10 off whatever you buy. And if you buy all five items, you get a 20% discount as well, which does work out quite well if you did like all five items. So you'd get the 20% off plus the 10 pound off so it works out pretty well. I've been doing this since last September I think so almost a year of doing stitch fixes and I usually do buy at least one thing from every box. I think last time I bought one thing the time before I bought two things so it is worth it. It is a good service in my opinion. You get a chance as well before you get the box to preview your items and you can say if you want to have them in your box or if you don't. I usually like to keep a couple of the items if I like the look of them although this time I'll be honest my preview wasn't that great. It wasn't my style at all so I don't know whether the stylist changed because you can keep the same stylist each time I don't know whether they changed or whether I I don't know they just didn't pick out good things for me I'm actually not feeling too hopeful about this box today you can also go on the website and just generally go through types of clothes that you like so sometimes they'll have tops that you might like trousers that you like and you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down and it helps the stylist to know what's your style that's why usually my stitches are really good and they are tailored to my style you can also leave a little note before you get your box to say if there's anything in particular you're looking for maybe you want some summer clothes or some work clothes or some like evening clothes anything like that I think it's a great opportunity opportunity to explore new brands. Some of the brands are Stitch Fix brands. I can't remember which ones they are but some of them are. Some of them are like Jules or Crew. I've had French Connection and then I've had other brands that aren't Stitch Fix but that I've just not heard of. So it is a good chance to like explore new styles especially with the death of the high street. We have hardly any shops left in our town at the moment. Shopping is a bit tricky plus I do like I said have a toddler and a baby and getting out and about to shop. It's not as easy these days. So let's get into the box. You always get a little like envelope with things in. You get a like return slip so you can just return it straight away. You get a little price slip which I'll look at the end because I just I like I like it to be a surprise. I suppose I like to see if I really like an item first and then look at the price rather than be swayed by the price. And you also get a little card with note from your stylist and then ways that you can style the items in your box which can be quite handy. And just so you know this is not sponsored by Stitch Fix although Stitch Fix if you're watching and you want to sponsor me you know. I won't mind. <laughs> but each person who does Stitch Fit gets a referral code. So it says here, give 15, get 15. Invite your friends and say 15 pounds on your next fix. Your friends get 15 pound credit too. So I will leave my referral code linked below in case you do want to try it. I don't know if it's just if you're from the UK. It obviously says 15 pounds. It might work in other countries as well. But we'll both get 15 pounds. Win-win. So today I can see that it is only clothes. There's no shoes or handbags today. That's everything in the box. Okay. This actually looks like something similar that I've already got. I'm not blown away by the look of it so far. It's looking quite drab. I do like my blues, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's summer. We're, it's very beginning of July, so. Mm. Okay, so first item. Got some, got some jeans. First impressions, they look like my style. Oh, they're French Connection. Ooh, that could be positive then. Do need more jeans actually, I don't have that many pairs. They are skinny, which I know is not trendy, but it is still my style. <laughs> I will not quite get, I do like my mum jeans, but I do like my skinny jeans as well, especially for winter when you wanna tuck them into boots. Nice color, these are a size 10. So these are the Rebound Skinny Jean Full Length Indigo. Okay, I'll try these on and I'll give you my full verdict once I've tried them on. Apologies for my head being chopped off. I've just put a random top on from my wardrobe. I like them, I think. They're a good length. They'd be long enough that I could, I could probably like roll them up if I had um, trainers on or if I had boots on. 
I could like have them down a bit. They are not, well, I, don't, I wouldn't say they're high rise. They don't, they're not like on my waist, really. They're, I'd say they're sort of mid rise. I mean, they were sort of high enough that I could tuck like a longer top in like that or a jumper in, but I don't think I'd go for like a bodysuit with them. Basically, if they don't come past my tummy button then, I don't feel comfortable using them as high rise, but they are high enough that if I bend down or at a playgroup, you're not gonna see anything. Um, I do like them. I like the colour of them and they feel very soft. I do like them, but I don't think they're anything wow. They're just nice jeans. So it would very much depend on the price. And French Connection is always a little bit more, so I'm not sure if I would keep these. They're okay. So next up, oh, this feels very soft. Oh, oh, it's a cardigan. This is one that I said yes to because I thought it could be a good work cardigan. It's a waterfall style from what I remember. Yes, yeah, so it's navy. Can you see it's like waterfall style? No buttons, so. Oh, it's so it's very, very soft. That is really, really soft. It's like that brushed, can you see? It's like brushed cotton. This is by Movet, and it's called the Sadie Soft Touch Waterfall Cardigan in a size 10. So since I've been doing Stitch Fix, I'll just talk about the sizes quickly. I started off like a month or two months postpartum, and now I'm 10 months postpartum. So I have lost weight within that year, and I'm noticing that the sizes are changing they've gone from like a 12 initially to now being more of a 10 and i think that's probably because when you send them back you can say what's wrong with them and usually they've been too big or not my style but often they've been too big so that's that's great they're sort of tailoring it to the response that i give okay that could be positive we'll try that on and i'll let you know so this cardigan is very soft and comfortable i do like it well i mean it's not anything wow so again it just depends on the price sometimes stitch fix the items are a little bit overpriced but it is very soft it is really nice actually like in terms of comfort it's definite cozy cardigan and if i did get this for work it would be a great one to have for like winter days or autumn days because it, and it would just make me feel all snuggly i think it's a nice length i like that it covers my bottom oh i do actually like this it's just it's just a cardigan isn't it it's nothing special but it is it is really nice next thing is okay <laughs> this is not my style <laughs> at all Everything about this is not my style. Although this would be a great breastfeeding top. This is a crossover top. It's a type of cotton that like slightly gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what it is about it. This is Editor's Cut, which is a Stitch Fix brand. And it's a size 10 Monica wrap top in black. I'll give it a go, it might look amazing on. This one is just not me at all. I think it's more the colour than anything else. I'm just not a black person. I, I hardly have anything black in my wardrobe. And I don't really like the black and the blue. It's just, it's not a vibe for me. In terms of style, I do like the sleeve length. I think that's a nice sleeve length because I'm a bit self-conscious of my arms. I've got mum arms now, if you know, you know. And that, yeah, this again would be a good work one. Except that it is a bit... Low. It's quite a heavy material though, and it's almost like tummy controlling, so it's probably mm, almost flattering, but it's just not my style at all. Even for work, I don't think it's my style. No, not for me. Um, this could be one that I said yes to as well, and I think I only said yes to it because the other choices are so poor. But this could be a good work top for me. I'm a teacher. I'm going back to work soon. I wouldn't wear this in normal life, but I think this could be a good work outfit. Can you see the pattern? It's just kind of blue and white flex. It's, um, oh, okay, it's got like a button at the top on the front. This is by Hawthorne in a size small. Hadley hidden keyhole blouse. Could be a nice length. Could potentially be a good work blouse. Okay, this is not too bad. Colour's definitely better. Um, I don't think it's the most flattering top, like the neckline and it's quite boxy. But again, for work, this would be a good option for me because it's quite thin. It's like that, not a night, is it like polyester? I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like a cottony material. So it does make it quite like thin and the length's good. The sleeve length is good. It would make a very nice work top, but it would depend on the cost because I could get tops like this from Primark or Matalan and for work, I'll be honest, I'm not bothered about having expensive tops. I usually end up with paint on them or glue sticks. If you work with little kids then you know what it's like, or even if you've just got children, you know what it's like. You get stuff all over you. So I'm not bothered if, you know, about getting expensive things, but it's, it's a nice style. I'm going to try with the cardigan and see what that would look like. Yeah, you know, this works, I think. I could see this with like some navy trousers or something like that. I don't wear jeans for work. It's not part of our dress uniform. Or some like smart work trousers, even black trousers potentially, but probably like navy 
or I don't know what other colours would go with it. It's all right, it's a work look to me. This is just a work look. And finally, another one by Hawthorne, which makes me think maybe that's a Stitch Fix brand, I don't know. We like a leopard print top. Again, this is very worky. I would not wear a top like this in normal life. It's a little bit longer at the back, which is always good to cover your bum. Sort of three quarter length sleeves by the looks of it with a button, so I guess you could have them longer. I'll try it on. Again, a very nice work top. Do you know what? I'm starting to think maybe I requested work clothes. I don't know. I can't remember requesting anything, but maybe that is what I requested. Because if, if, if I did, then they've sort of nailed it. If not, they've gone massively wrong because I wouldn't wear any of these normally. This one's okay though. I think this print suits me. If you've watched some of my other Stitch Fixes, one of them, I actually bought like a leopard print dress, which I really like, which I probably will put into my work wardrobe when I go back. But I have worn that not for work as well. So I think... It's not like a massive, I'm not a massive leopard print fan, but I, I do think it sort of suits my toning. This would make a very nice work top, and I, do you know what, I potentially, potentially would wear this elsewhere. Not every day, but maybe if I'm going somewhere where I wanted a slightly nicer blouse. I do quite like this one, actually. This is the first one that I'm starting to convince myself. I think it goes quite well with, with the jeans, and you could... Um, if you had like some high waisted, you could maybe do like I quite like the whole half tuck look. Yeah, it's a very nice length. You could actually potentially get away with this with leggings. I've got some like black half leather, half other prep leggings, like smarter leggings that I think this would go quite well with because it does cover your front and back. <laughs> I like this style, I think it suits me. I like it. So now to see the price of them. Now I've tried them on all, I'm gonna look at the other bits of paper and I've just noticed that my stylist is different this time and I think that's why the style is so different. So this stylist is Marta, I don't think she's got it right for me yeah they've just not quite hit the nail on the head with the styling but anyway let's look at the prices so the french connection jeans are 75 pounds that doesn't surprise me because it's french connection and they're always a little bit more expensive i don't know if i even have anything french connection anymore i used to but they do last well when i did have some french connection clothes they lasted years the cardigan is 36 pounds I and mean, you have to bear in mind that any item I choose, I'd get the £10 off. So if I chose that one, which I did really like, that would only be £26, which isn't bad for a good quality cardigan. The light blue top, the keyhole one, is £36. Yeah, I won't pay that. No way, I would not pay that for it. The leopard printy one is £45. Again, no, I'm not paying that for it. And the wrap top is £32. Um, I mean, it's one of the cheaper ends. I think this is my cheapest Stitch Fix box ever. I mean, I've had some that have been £300. Not that I bought all of them, but that's what they would cost. I'm really not sure if I'm going to get anything this time. I, I don't know if any of it is worth it to me. I'd have to think about it. But anyway, if I did buy them all... Altogether, that would be £224 with a buy or discount 20% makes it £44.80 cheaper, which takes it to £179.20. Subtract the £10 styling charge, delivery is free, so if I got them all, £169.20. It's not too bad. Like, I don't know what Hawthorne is. 41 Hawthorne. I don't know what brand that is. I don't know if it's very good or not. I know Editor's Cut is... Stitch Fix. I don't know what more vet is. The only one I've heard of is French Connections, so that's the only one I can kind of judge the prices on. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to get any of them, which is the first time since the first one, I think. I think all the others I bought something from, which is disappointing because I what I've been doing is not spending as much money like month to month on clothes and then I've been just buying like one or two items from Stitch Fix to top up my wardrobe. So I've been spending a lot less and consuming a lot less. So it's kind of disappointing, but it does mean I will have some money left over and spare that I could maybe put into the next box, which will probably, probably be in September now. That's crazy. <laughs> we are flying through so that'll be exciting because that'll be like an autumn box i'm not ready for that we're halfway through summer what that's crazy no we've just started summer in the uk okay i'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> thank you so much for watching don't forget that i do have that referral code for 15 pounds off if you do want to try your own stitch fix box i promise they are usually better than this so go back and watch my other videos i'll leave the playlist linked below thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like it please give a big thumbs up i also film clean videos motherhood videos family vlogs that kind of thing so if it's something you're interested in, then please smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and i will see you on the next one bye guys mm -hmm.